this is Jeff. And I'm Gina. And uh, we're hoping you're at staying safe, yeah. sick free, and, and not dealing with this coronavirus in any other way than protecting yourself. And yeah. Just, for those infected, it seems like it's getting more and more. Yeah, we didn't expect the coronavirus to spread. It's 100,000, 34,000 dead at this point. So when you hear this podcast, judge <laughs> from that point when you've heard this. But you know, Jeff, seriously, I mean, I know there's like, what, 7 billion, maybe 8 billion people on this planet, and 100,000 are already affected. That, you see that, the numbers like that, it's mm. starting to, mm. all you need, as soon as we get to a million, then, you know, we really, really got a problem. I'd say you got a problem at, I think, between three hundred and five 500,000, I think it's serious problem there i think it's got to be pandemic by now by the time you get to a million that's 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 way above but you you were saying now you've gone to china twice yeah i have i have you have you gone to wuhan was one of those cities Wuhan? i didn't go to wuhan but um i am i did go to hufei hufei yeah h-u-f-e-i hufei okay and shoujo so I know that those areas. And how long ago was that? That was in 2016. Okay. That I went there. Okay, for I just f- want to make sure that this cough is just THC and nothing else. <laughs> no, I would. I wouldn't <laughs> okay. give you that. I know. Not I, willingly. I wouldn't try Not to knowingly. I love you too much <laughs> to try to kill you. Absolutely. Oh, and, baby. And, hey, this coronavirus is not about what you what giving it to anyone. Apparently, it just. It's about receiving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to receive a lot. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, they say it's better to give than to, to receive. receive. And in this case, yes, yeah, it yeah. is. Uh, so back to the, mm. the China situation is that uh, when this disease was known to the world, because mm-hmm. I think it had been there earlier mm-hmm. from what we had. What, it's been here for a while. It's been here, yeah. yeah. And uh, at least a couple months in the form, at least maybe a couple months, maybe even five months previous to when it it came out to the press. You know, Jeff, China is just a mystery to everybody Mm. because they're just now for the first time in all these years opening up to the world. Yeah, I I, I see their mystery, what they did to the Bahamas. ain't too much of a mystery. I know, I know. But see, the thing is that China has been also investing all over the world. They have a bi- they have a buying billion, influence, they buying have, political influence. They have a billion plus people they got to get jobs to. There's not enough jobs and not enough living conditions, so they're forced to invest in this half-ass investments. Yeah. They they come with all these different things. Next thing you know, the country's losing like natural resources and all sorts of stuff is going on. Yeah. Chicanery. Yeah. Uh, um so Agriculture, fisheries, and, and yeah, all, yeah. All these places where A lot China, of transportation product projects, like uh, building roads and highways. Hotels and, and resorts in the Caribbean. Exactly. Uh, all yeah. of these places Stadiums. Where, well, all these places where China is need to be looked at because mm-hmm. this is, the, you know, the, the conditions in which Wuhan has had, I think that those conditions are in other areas. Well, yeah, and it's, it's interesting because I, I do remember them mentioning Hufei, right? Mm. And um, th- that's the, the epicenter where they, they create, um, where they uh, have um, artificial intelligence, like face recognition software and, and um, voice recognition software. That's their big area. That's... Yeah, and and then that's where they send a lot of the students, a lot of the international students, to, in Hufei, is to be in that area to learn the the art of um, AI. to learn yeah to yeah to learn AI and 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 how to create technology, and stuff, and apparently that area, I think has been affected as well. I didn't mm-hmm. hear them mention Hufei, and I was like, whoa, I I was there. I was there for that conference. And um, the conference that I went to in 2016, I went there with Tony Capron. You don't have to mention his name. Right? No, I mean, I'm just. But well, what saying, was the conference about? Okay, the conference was 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 about getting investors um, from 62 different countries that that um, and all these uh, these. Uh, Bringing investors to the Bahamas. Um, 
actually to showcase what the what Hufei can offer to the world. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, oh. and and to um and to get uh, Bahamas is going to pay for that with straw and yeah. coconut. <laughs> Yeah, well, the Bahamas was one of I know many different countries many different countries being, that were there yeah. for that conference. Little but, did they know the whole idea was, hey, we want to get into your place. Well, yeah, and what happened is that with China, um, they like to create a lot of uh, uh, sister cities, so they that they like to do business on that kind of on on they like to build you trade find sister cities. It's a trade platform, right? Where they match a city that's similar to your city, right? Like, uh, do, um, let's say So Nass what city have they got that's similar to the Bahamas? Uh, apparently, it was um, Hufei. Hufei, because it was a small town, has a small college, and they're trying to build a reputation. And so what they were doing was, a, was an exchange, getting Bahamian students to study um, artificial intelligence and getting uh, Chinese students. Apparently, they were supposed to send Chinese students to University of the Bahamas in exchange and, and do it like that. I so. guess the, some of the politicians acting like politicians, that's not artificial enough. Well, uh, <laughs> down, down you know... There the, down there in the Bahamas, they have marital rape laws and all that kind of stuff. Well, the thing is, right, is that um, I think it was under the Christie administration... That was the last administration to Minnis administration. Um, Minnis the Menace, right? Minnis the Menace, that's right. Where um, Perry Christie was trying to promote the, um, it was called the uh, Industrial um, Encouragement Act. Was that before he was purchasing the one across the street from his house? That was before. Oh, that was, that was before. before. He, he actually set Ryan Pinder on the mission. Because he put Ryan Pinder as the Minister of Financial Services. And Ryan Pinder was going around to all of the different um, Bahamian businesses out by, like, the airport industrial um, yeah, people don't field know. and all that. Yeah, no, I know, I know, but they need to know these kind of things, right? <laughs> out there by the airport industrial field out there, they have plenty of properties that the, the, the government has crown land that they uh, rent out to uh to business owners and then you get this piece of land for like maybe 50 or 100 dollars a month you build your factory on it and you hire bahamians to build products build, Bas basically build. when you get to third world countries the chicanery and stuff that you got to go through if you're a, a foreign country a foreign company going into one of these countries the price gouging that you have to go to and then you have to you have to hire Bahamians, mm -hmm. and by the time that you put out all your money, you, you're pissed off naturally because <laughs> no one told you you were going to be out X amount of dollars. If you were to put this into the budget, you wouldn't come in with that bad attitude. Well, yeah, I mean, but you have to, this is the thing. This is it's a round robin of it's nightmare. A, it is a round robin, um, of um. Of, of ideas and, and stuff. Nightmares. Right? But of uh, nightmares. Um but the thing is that this is what the the Chinese ambassador is making noise about is that China has made such an investment in the Bahamas. Mm. I mean billions of dollars they've invested in the Bahamas and now it, it looks like the Bahamas is saying we have to follow international standards and shut down um all diplomatic relations with China right now because well, it's airline it's, it's airline I well, don't think it's airline, diplomatic but relations but man, it's look here all right people getting sick and dying and and mm -hmm. they're trying to find creative ways to say we don't want anything coming out of China bringing any disease around our way and that ain't racist man that's just being protective of yourself because your health is all you got yeah. When, once you die, that's it. You know, once you get sick, apparently, that it, with this virus, that, that is enough to take you out. It, yeah. I mean, it just to really incapacitate you. And it's a, it's a something that appears to deal with the nerves. And so, you know. So it, it takes a long time to, to get to recover. To recover, from, yeah. And to find another job again and or, probably or, another or apartment. Pray, or, or, or hope that the job is on hold for you. 
here in California, mm -hmm. the governor, after one death, went into state of emergency. That's Thank right. God, man. That was that yesterday. Was, yeah, yeah, and uh, um, immediate state a, of a, emergency. A, there are companies looking to figure out how to get their employees to work from home. Gotcha. And and that I'm sure that does not apply to every company. You know, there I'm sure there's some people in which you have to be. On site, on site, yeah. Um, so that's a whole other issue. But like I said, that's a that's a, a state looking after its people, you know. Un you unlike know. unlike the Bahamas, it still is not declared a state of emergency since Hurricane Dorian. So I that, know. At any rate, I know. I digress. I know. Right? I, I know, and and I don't think that this problem here is anywhere as serious as Hurricane Dorian, but yet there are not. It, there's enough concern to yeah, shut down the city absolutely. and control the the the, the vector. It's what you it's what you you're know? supposed to do when you're supposed to care for your citizens. Yeah, I you agree. Know, you, you understand? This is this is what comes with. This is how you know uh, uh, mm -hmm. how good a country that you're in that you can afford that you the young can afford higher education mm -hmm. and that your health. You know, uh, mm -hmm. there are protections upon health. Yeah, uh, very important. Now, um, I'll, I I just want to touch back on what I experienced back in 2016 in Hufei and Chuzhou, uh at that conference. One of the things is that uh, the 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 Chinese government was trying to explain all of the different investments that were taking place in Africa. You know, Africa is divided into three different sections, and uh, the Americans have heavily invested in Eastern Africa um, to Central Africa. And I guess that's because that's where all the oil is. And then the uh, Europeans have invested in North Africa and West Africa, right? And then uh, another part of the map you'll see where the Chinese have heavily invested in Central Africa, the Congo and stuff, all the way down to South Africa. Because they want the agriculture and land, and um, they, they're they're into agriculture and fisheries and stuff. So that's how Africa is divided. So now we have to watch this coronavirus and see where it spreads to and where it shows up. And that's how you know who has been who's bringing it. Who's bringing it? it well, well, who brought who, it? Yeah. Who, well, we know who brought it. But who are the know. allies with China? We'll yeah, find well. out where this coronavirus shows up. And then that's how you'll know who's been in business and who's been in bed with an authoritarian state, you know, which is something very didn't important. didn't declare it or, or how far or what is going on. This is bringing out a lot going on because mm -hmm. uh, um, what projects mm -hmm. um, are being financed? The Bahamas have to question. They, they got some big thing called the point. Mm -hmm. uh, which seems to be getting bigger. It's becoming pointless anyway. It's becoming <laughs> pointless. It will be. It will probably be. It'll probably be a, a Chinese ghost town because you know the Chinese are known to have famous. Go, they're famous for having building big edifices that never that, finish. That, that never get finished. They never see paint. Yeah. You understand? Exactly. We're talking cement structure. And this is the reason. Steel. This is the reason why because negotiations break down. You know, in the in between the commencement and finishing the negotiation project. breakdown, we all know it's all about money. Exactly. Someone said they had something that they didn't. Exactly. <laughs> That's something. Something. Someone said there was something going to be there, and when that time comes, time came, it wasn't there. Exactly. Hence, negotiation breakdown. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hence a breakdown. Like somebody didn't do their due diligence. Yeah. In, in the in the in planning the investment. However, that money yeah. was was supposed to get there. It ain't get there, but yeah, and 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 yeah, we have a we have a lot to uh, to 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 explain how the Chinese got this far into the Bahamas, all right, and 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 yeah, it's far. The Bahamas it's is not the only country that owes China billions. billions. Uh, apparently, um, ha um, Haiti 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 owes at least about fifty billion. Dominican Republic, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Saint I mean, Lucia. It, yeah, it goes all the way down, and all through, um, all through the the Caribbean region and Latin America. Now, Latin America is worse 
because they borrow indiscriminately and don't pay back. They're known for that. So, <laughs> well, you know what I, I mean? I'm sure, they, I'm sure they had the right intentions <laughs> in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, they things, did. Things happen. They're South American. Things happen. <laughs> hole, in the, hole in the pants. <laughs> <laughs> Wallet drops out. Yeah, coronavirus. I'm telling you, you know I mean? anything. Anything any, can any, happen. Anything you know? can happen. The more of us, I tell you, the more people there are on the planet, the more hijinks. You know, if they got to build more bunkers to hide Nazis. I don't know what it is that they're doing down there. <laughs> <laughs> do they still have them? Uh, yeah, they, they probably do. They you know, they, they're growing Nazis. The third generation. The third generation. Yeah, you know South Second America. America. They, they just do whatever. They fly by the seat of their pants. <laughs> it's, it's South the, America. It's, it's the Gways. It's Paraguay, a- Uruguay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gray. I'm a gray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> That's a good one. I like, like that one. You know, I tell you, there's a lot of stuff. But Ecuador, Europe, your door. There you go. That's what, that's Columbia door, uh, yeah. Venezuela door. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> but at any rate, you see. Yeah, but but yeah. So um, yeah, we uh, uh, I do remember uh, the Chinese. Uh, um, friendship Association because um, the big headquarters is in Beijing and I do remember them having another conference that we went to in Costa Rica so they got the whole Central Mexico Central America actually Mexico was very um, they were very they, they participated very well and they, they praised um, um, Nixon for being the first to go to China and Nixon, I think, also went to Mexico afterwards as well. So it created a whole, uh, a whole different uh, relationship, and a whole different, uh, different meaning to the Monroe Doctrine. You know, when yeah, when the Chinese got involved in it, because it, it highlighted that um, they're not supposed to be in this region. Or they're not supposed they, to be in America. There are supposed to be certain rules under which they're not adhering to. Yeah, they're not. That are already in the region. Yeah, they're... they're See, because they don't know about it. They don't know about it. They, they, and, and they don't... And they, they never come up asked. With, <laughs> and they come up with these all these different little trade agreements to, to try to capture something that's already there mm-hmm. as opposed to be already being followed. Mm-hmm. I see how it's going. You know, everyone's coming in, oh, well, we weren't taught that, so we're not going to, you know, well. It's culture. Yeah, it, it, it's well, a lot of it is culture. And the Bahamas has got a serious situation where they haven't, they, they, they definitely are losing their culture. Yeah. And because there's so few of them. They're losing their culture because they're selling it for money. Uh, and, 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 yeah. and from small to big. Yeah. From small to big, from from bringing in illegal migrants, mm-hmm. how are they getting in? They are getting in. Someone's allowing it to happen. Some yeah. catch some. Some bring in some. Wherever uh, uh, there is work, big work that needs to be done on an island or somewhere by some big, sh- you know, big shot down there who got a couple of dollars but don't want to pay Bahamian their true worth, mm-hmm. so that they can you know raise up because it should be a a, a wealthy country. I think we've said that before. We yeah. can't say it enough. But no. all of those Caribbean countries, I think, uh, are, should all fall into that. They're all in beautiful sun. We all need the sun. It's one of the very few places on earth that gets all this sun and beautiful fishing and water and the agriculture, on mm-hmm. and on and on. And you see all of this mess. And, and I could accept one or two, mm-hmm. but all of them. Mm-hmm. All of what is going on with the leadership and the the, the corruption in the area, uh, it's unreal. It's just like where one where, where you ca- you look at one, you take your eye off of one, another one comes up, and another one comes up. It's just all corruption and, and, and all greed and 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 stealing. Where did these people learn? Learn how? this. We, we were never taught that. No, as kids. this and, 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 that's the you know? that's the next disgusting part of it. You know, even if you even if you cut out a group, even if you say it's a third or a fourth, but mm-hmm. it, this thing, this thing, someone someone described it as is uh, is so you, you you get to the country, you come to the country, you you want to bring your stuff down, so now you you're paying something a little extra to the the, the person in customs, mm-hmm. and then it begins from there, mm-hmm. and then it just gets worse and worse and worse, and then you come to find out that your living conditions rise up. 
-hmm. everyone's hyperinflation has gone throughout the region mm -hmm. and uh, um, and that's due to all the to all the greed that I think everyone thought all the greed was always going to be there and mm -hmm. you know when the faucet's off the faucet's off the faucet's off you know Jeff I do remember something I do remember when we were there in when we were there in China in 2013 I do remember us going to Xi'an China and they took us into the um, the, the tomb of the first Chinese emperor and I did come back with a respiratory infection so you know and you should have left that dude capron there <laughs> yeah. but what a, what a <laughs> infection of a different sort what I'm what I'm trying to say right is that I do remember that and they do have a lot of attractions there in China describe that, that infection where did you get that infection you 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 went down to that that the the emperor's tomb right we, yeah we went inside the tomb what's the right? emperor's name uh emperor chin okay chin yeah you're looking at me like i know the guy yeah I, no no I, I i i do remember it's, chin, it's c h i n okay. okay so now describe yeah. the tomb or, how deep down into the ground did you go um well we were we went Did it feel like you descended? Yeah, we did descend because we did okay, go so down. So you didn't see any sunlight at a certain no, point. No, no, there were so no you were sun. So you were in ground. We, yeah, so, and we went and down how, steps. And, and down steps. So how big, uh, how wide? Oh, this thing is huge, Jeff. No, wide. Wide in which you're walking. Uh, so so the first time that you got down there. Uh, I would say maybe. Could two of you, could two people walk oh, side yeah, by four. side? Four people could four walk. Four people could walk. So I. The Chinese people tunneled this whole elaborate tomb. This 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 tomb was built in like the fifteen hundred. Describe it. Fifteen hundred. Yeah, or describe something like what that. was in there. It was a kitchen. There was a kitchen. So living can living quarters and everything. They built. There was like seven. There's like seven palaces underground. There's seven palaces in this tomb. Underground. How, uh, the, the, the tomb everyone, has city uh, gates. Everyone, you know, the Bahamas has a government house. They think that's the, anyway. Yeah, no, no, so this so is. So how big is this? So, so this thing is, so you didn't get to walk through all of it, mm -hmm. I take it? No, it. it you um, would have still been walking the way. It's taking two days to, to kind of get through it all. Right? I, I can't tell you because there's a lot of parts of the tomb that were cut off. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. But the tomb is basically shaped. Like the pyramid on the back of the um, of the dollar bill of the U.S. one dollar bill, you flip it over, and you know you see that that pyramid that's got the space with the eye on top. That symbol mm -hmm. is all over the inside of the that emperor, the uh, emperor, emperor Chin's, Chin's tomb. tomb. Interesting. Yeah. And we saw it um, written on the wall and stuff. Interesting. And there. That will that will definitely add to conspiracy theorists, you know. By the way, McCallum number twelve, we definitely think that is smooth. Yeah, it's awfully shady. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, <laughs> but until next time. Yeah. This is Jeff. And I'm Gina. Take care. Mm, I love you, honey. I love you too. Okay. All right, and we'll see you guys next time. Easy. Bye bye.